Hello and welcome to the Music Theory Guy clinic with me, Music Theory Guy. If you've got a question about music theory, this is the place to get it answered. If you'd like to get in touch, please send me an email to clinic at musictheoryvideos.com or I can be contacted on Twitter at Music Theory Guy or via Facebook Music Theory Videos. Now I've received a message from Sophie who's in Stoke-on-Trent which is in the UK and she wants to know about ornamentation. Well this is the third of a series of five videos about ornamentation and in this video I'm going to be looking at Akiakaturas, otherwise known as grace notes. Let's have a look. Okay, so you may know an Akiakatura as a grace note or even a crush note. For the rest of the video, I'm just going to refer to it as an Akiakatura purely for consistency purposes and no other reason otherwise. So here is a bar of music and you can see in the middle of it, there is a note that's got an Akiakatura just before it. Now, a couple of things to just be aware of so that it's absolutely clear that it's an Akiakatura. There will always be a little line cutting through the note or the first, if the several notes, to show that it is an Akiakatura. And you can see that I've highlighted that little line that cuts through blue, just so you can see exactly where, what I'm referring to here. And the other thing to notice is that there's a tiny little slur that goes from the Akiakatura itself to the next note. And again, I've highlighted that blue. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. Um, it can be used as a slur to say slide gently from the Akiakatura to the note. And sometimes it's just used in the addition of the music that you're looking at. So whether it's there or not, I'm not going to worry about in this particular video. I'm going to take mine away. So here's our bar, again with the Akiakatura in the middle. Here are the beats of the bar. One, two, three, and four. So each of those crotchets are on the beat. Now there's a number of ways that you can play or place the Akiakatura. Here's one way. You could play it so that beat three is exactly where the Akiakatura is. So let's have a listen to this. Before we do listen, just be aware that I'm playing a bar of snare drum beats before and during this bar. So you can hear exactly where each of the beats are placed. The Akiakatura is played on the beat or beat three in this case. Let's have a look at this way. In this situation, we've got beat two, but then the Akiakatura is played just before beat three. Let's have a listen. Now, you're possibly scratching your head at the moment thinking that there's not much difference between the two. Well, you'd be right. But at different tempos, that's the speed of the music, or in different styles, it can make a huge difference. Now, there's no hard and fast rule to say which is right and which is wrong. The beauty of ornaments is that you, the performer, get to interpret the music in the way that you feel is best. For some styles of music, it's best to play it on the beat. For other styles of music, or for a particular style that you're playing in, it might be better before the beat. Try the different ways when you're practicing your music to see which way that you prefer best. Take it to your teacher and have a little chat with them, see what they say. But there's no hard and fast rule where you actually place that grace note or akiakatura, I should say. And finally, if you'd like a good example of a piece of music where there's lots of use of akiakaturas, go and have a listen to the Carnival of the Animals, and specifically the Kangaroo section. Now, this is all by Sanson, and it's available on YouTube, and you could buy the CD if you prefer. Um, but here's the opening three bars, and you can see and feel how those little akiakaturas represent that sort of hopping movement of the kangaroo. Let's have a listen to these three bars. Okay, well I hope that's been useful to you Sophie and anybody else that's been watching. As I say, if anybody's got a question about music theory, please do get in touch. I can be contacted on clinic at musictheoryvideos.com, Twitter at Music Theory Guy or Facebook Music Theory Videos. In the meantime, many thanks for watching.